Our first recipe is a really simple sun-dried tomato pesto. Now I get these sun-dried tomatoes at my store and they're in ribbons. They are not soaked in oil yet and they come julienned. You can get them whole, or usually they're halved when they're sun-dried. You can get that version or a chopped version. I'm gonna be chopping mine in my food processor here. These are very reasonably priced gifts. And then I'm gonna put in some Italian seasoning. There we go. One teaspoon of Italian seasoning. You can also put a few red pepper flakes if you wanna get this spicy. And then I'm gonna put in some nuts. Now I have walnuts. Uh, you know, it's best to put in the pinoles or the pine nuts. You know, that's what most pesto is made with, but they're expensive. So I'm just going to put in two handfuls, and then we're going to drizzle our olive oil. Maybe I should measure the olive oil so you guys know what I'm doing, because I don't measure. Where's a... I don't even know where a measuring cup is. Hold on. We're going to pulse this first. Okay, we have it a little chopped up. So now I'm going to just start drizzling. See, I hate measuring because now i got to drizzle from this container. I should have put it in a, these are, did you know these are actually dry cups, measuring cups? Yeah, these aren't meant for pouring and we shall see why in just a moment. Ooh, it works. Oh, it smells good. And this is just like a, an awesome side dish, having sun-dried tomatoes over on your pasta, or you could fry up some sausage, then put this sun-dried tomato mixture in with your sausage, then pour it over the pasta. I can use this to season tomato sauces. I could use it as a bruschetta on little toastette things. That would be so good. So for this, these purposes though, because you're making it as wanting these people to pour it over pasta, to use it as a pasta sauce. And you might want to pick a little bit smaller bag than this. This is a lot of pasta. And you're going to be giving them, what well, matters how big? You know, I'm going to be giving these half cup portions. And so this isn't meant for, you know, like serving eight people pasta. It's meant for, you know, a serving of, you know, probably four people on some pasta. So we're going to put the other cup in. Mmm. Very good. Needs salt. That's eh, probably a teaspoon of salt. So you'd probably want to put a, a tag on here and say for eight ounces of dried pasta. And, or if you'd rather give them larger containers, then you can use a whole pound of pasta. But to me, I would want this on a lot of my, um, to me, I would want this on a lot. Oh, I didn't put garlic. Crap. Well, good thing, it's a good thing I have my minced garlic because then I barely have to do anything, right? Just hold on one second. Okay, even, even people like me forget uh, things in recipes. It still tasted good, but it did taste like it was missing a little something. Okay, tablespoon of garlic goes in. Oh yeah. Now we got some smells. Now we have some good smells. Ooh la la, that smells good. Mm. There we go. Now it's done. See how easy having minced garlic is? Not that junk at the grocery store. That stuff tastes terrible. Terrible. You have to make your own. Check out my homemade minced garlic recipe. At the end of this video, I'll put a, a flag so you can click on it. You will not regret making your own minced garlic. It just makes life so much easier because just like then, that was perfect to show you. I didn't have to get on my garlic, peel it, or whatever, you know, done. So this made it so we can do three half cup servings or you can do a one cup and a half cup one. And then with the one cup one, 
you give them a larger amount of pasta, like this size pasta. And these, you can get these great Italian pastas at like Ross or TJ Maxx. They're just amazing and they taste so much better. A lot of them are steel cut. Uh, they're excellent. So give a good pasta with it. Don't just go into the grocery store and give them a box of what is that one kind? That white box, Mueller's pasta. Get something a little higher quality. All right, now we are on to our vanilla. Now, we're gonna start with dropper bottles. Now, the reason why I'm choosing dropper bottles is because when you pour your vanilla out, there a little always drips off. And this stuff is going to be liquid gold. You don't want to waste any. So a dropper helps you just get some out and then put it in your teaspoon or whatever your measurement is. This is a two ounce and I also have a four ounce. So if I like you a lot, you'll be getting the four ounce version. Eh, if you're just a husband's coworker or something like that, two ounce version it is. Next, we need some scissors. Then we have our vanilla. Now vanilla beans are expensive. I was buying them 10 vanilla beans for $25. But I have to remember, these are still gonna be really reasonably priced gifts, because you know, and, and it's a homemade gift, so it is still a great gift. Now there are three different kinds of vanilla beans. Let me see if I get this right. I'm using Madagascar vanilla beans, which are a deeper, richer vanilla bean. Then there's a Tahitian vanilla bean, which is more floral. And then I believe the third one is a Mexican vanilla bean, but I can't be sure. And you will need a funnel. Now, that's it. And, oops, I forgot, vodka. Vodka is your liquid. You could also use bourbon or rum. Rum would be delicious too. So the hardest part of this is cutting these in half. Now, I tried with a knife, but I, I decided I liked using a pair of scissors instead. It wasn't as messy. My knife seemed to get a lot of the little beans that are inside there, the, the paste that's inside there. So we are just gonna cut these. Now, what the ratio is, if you're using a larger container, it's three whole vanilla beans to one cup of liquid. So that would mean for our half cup we are going to put in what? One and a half vanilla beans. So here's one. I'm going to put one in here and then we're going to put a half of another in. And then we are going to put our funnel on and we are going to fill this up. And that, my friend, is it. Is that not easy? Here's the thing. This has to sit. At least six weeks, and then it can start being used. And also, when it starts to run halfway down, fill it back up with vodka. You'll still get great flavor. And what a good gift. Now some of the bottle companies also send you cute little stickers to put on it. So I'll just put, you know, Kathy Cooks for you on there. And it's settled, I don't have to make my own. And then it also gave me these little round ones that'll probably put the date they could start using it. So that's it guys, that's all it took. That's your half cup one. So how much would you put in for a two ounce? Hmm, okay, we've got to get some math down here. So if one and a half beans is for this, then three quarters of a bean would be for this. Now there's also grade A and grade B beans. Buy what you can afford. I mean, you know, grade A or B bean in homemade vanilla is going to be so much better than any vanilla you get at the store. And your friends will be so impressed and family giving them such a great gift made from the heart. 
Thank you so much for watching Kathy Cooks for You. Please subscribe below by clicking the red button. And I would love to hear from you. Give me a thumbs up. But hey, I'd love to hear positive things for you.